Today we are unboxing a professional fingerboard from Black River. This is a seven ply power pop construction. This is an extra wide 33.3 millimeter classic shape. It's no secret that the cost of a professional fingerboard versus a plastic fingerboard is drastically different. A professional fingerboard is gonna range anywhere from 120 to about $160. This one here retails for about $150, $160. The internet seems to not understand what a hobby is. You don't need to understand someone's interest or hobbies to take them serious. So right off the bat, the packaging, this is pretty quality. It this feels nice and sturdy. It looks nice. It looks nice on the shelf. It feels high quality. Okay, so I'm gonna give Black River 10 out of 10. I like this. I really like this. Yo, tons of stickers. Okay, yo, and a tool. Look how awesome that is. I didn't even know these things came with tools. Well, I guess it makes sense since it comes with trucks. Whatever. One of my favorite parts about unboxing a Black River board is it comes totally ready to shred. Wheels on, trucks on, board ready. You got the grip tape nice and crispy. I don't really sesh seven ply fingerboard, so this is this is gonna be a learning experience. We got the 3.0 trucks. Wheels feel really smooth. My only gripe with Black River trucks is these orange bushings they come with are always super stiff. If you like stiff, like medium fill trucks, you're gonna like these bushings. If you like loose bushings, you're probably gonna have a hard time adjusting. But there is a fix. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. So the wheels roll super smooth. That just, this feels, this feels great. See, for 160 bucks, this setup is so good. I get it. I know that people are gonna say, well, you could just buy a tech deck for $3. Yeah, you, you can, but it feels like a $3 tech deck. This feels like a professional, high quality, professional, I already said that, fingerboard. Think about it like getting a car. You can go and get like a little bucket car, a little, little runaround car and get you from point A to point B. That'll do the job but then you can go and get like a really nice car. Not really a big stand of Tesla, but you think about it like that. You can go buy a Tesla, same thing. It does the same thing, but it just, it's it's more comfortable. Literally, if you took a real skateboard like this, well, not that, because that's cracked, does have trucks, but you, like a real skateboard and and shrunk it down, this is this. And it's great, it's, the, the quality is insane. If you've never experienced a pro fingerboard, just say that, that's okay. But trust me, don't knock it till you try it, because although technically, both fingerboards, world of difference. Nine out of 10, honestly, nine out of 10. Packaging is solid. I love that it comes set up. I'm loving the real wear graphic. I'm loving the real metal trucks. You got the little skull there, 3.0s. Wheels are super smooth. Grip actually feels really good. And I've, I've never really seshed a seven ply, but this actually feels really comfortable. The only modification I would make to this thing right off the bat is that washer right there. If you want loose Black River trucks and you can't necessarily upgrade the bushings right away to some softer bushings, a quick and easy fix is you can remove these washers. There's a washer on top, there's a washer on the bottom. And there's gonna be some naysayers that'll tell you that this nut is gonna push into the bushings. That will happen, but over time, it's not like you're gonna take off the washers and then it's just gonna make your bushing fall off or something like that. So overall, nine out of 10, totally worth it. So Black River, thank you so much for this board. Uh, it is it is insane. Black River, I love you. Thank you so much. You guys make killer ramps. I love them. I sesh them all the time. And now I can for sure say that your boards, trucks, and wheels are chef's kiss. Black River, thanks so much. And uh, we're going to have to do like an update video to see how this real wear shreds off. So I'm hyped. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried a profile your board or if you just prefer to use Tech Tech, which is totally cool. And let me know that if you if you would agree. Do you want to pay $3 for a tech deck or do you want to pay $160 for a pro fingerboard? Let me know in the comments below.